We traveled to Baja, Mexico to get the chance to dive with bull sharks and large aggregations of fish. And on a journey of struggle, perseverance, and danger. As we unite with old friends and take on new challenges in a new chapter of our adventures. But first, let me introduce myself. I'm Don. And if you enjoy travel and adventure, you've come to the right channel, where I share tips and experiences to make sure that your next adventure is a wonder to behold. On this trip, we spent a little over a week down in Mexico and met up with some great friends that we've gone adventuring with in the past. When we arrived, we spent three days at Cabo Pomo. But when we were there, a typhoon had just hit and we we're at the tail end, which was causing rough seas and high winds. We had 12 planned dives, but two of them were canceled due to bad weather conditions and high winds. We were always on the cusp of bad weather, meaning the seas were very rough when you're waiting in between dives. It was really rough. And we had some very interesting experience getting docking on the beach. They have a very interesting way boats launch and, and also come back to the beach. And also high surf, meaning that when you're on the surface and trying to get back to the boat, it becomes quite a bit more challenging than with low surf. This sparked an interesting conversation where our friend was telling us whenever they go on trips with us, it's always type two fun. And type two fun is while you're doing that kind of fun, you're always thinking like, why am I even doing this? It must be crazy. I could be doing things like watching Netflix back at home and enjoying a bunch of other things. But then after you do the thing, you think back, man, that was really fun. I really enjoyed the experience. Overall, we had a great time. Our group was very experienced. We all knew what we were doing and we handled the situation quite well. And despite the conditions, we had some really excellent dives. And best of all, we got to hit all of the best dive sites in the area. This includes El Bajo and Las Mores, known for humongous schools of all sorts of different fish aggregating there. And and they are beautiful to see. While we're there, we look, we're able to be parallel with them, be below them and above them and see the light shimmering through all the fish it was extraordinary and what was amazing to see is the behavior of the dog snappers as they use surrounding other fish to camouflage themselves these tiny little fish that are kind of swarming along the reef the dog snappers would sit in the middle of them and send sneak attack to when the when the sardines were moving through so there was a pack that was chasing the sardines into this area where other Dog snappers were hiding, camouflaged, and waiting for their moment. They would, dog snappers will even use us as places where they can hide between us and then just jump out as the, as the fish were flying by. And also, we were very fortunate to not just have one, but two dives at their famous bull shark dive, El Vencedor. This is really competitive site because of the way the permits work for this dive site. You can't reserve the permit. You just have to go and hope for the best because it's a lottery system. And because of the bad weather, which made it a little bit more rocky and a little bit unpleasant, but we were one of the few groups that were muscling it out and going there. And so we got to dive the site twice, which was almost unheard of. While at El Vincidor, we were surrounded by more than 20 bull sharks without a cage in their natural environment. There, it's a place where they socialize and they come to be cleaned. Further, the bull shark is typically known as a super aggressive shark. It's one of my big three that I get nervous about when I see them in open water. But here, this environment where they're coming to socialize and be clean, they're fairly gentle. I mean, you don't want to test them, but they are swimming around you very comfortably, checking you out, and you can observe them with very little fear of reprise. It's amazing to be so close to the bull sharks. You can get into touching distance with them and see every bit of definition. You can see the difference between the males and the females, being the females generally have scar tissue, and also the males will have the claspers and they're slightly bigger. As and you can sit there and watch them for your whole dive and just watch their behaviors. And it's a beautiful dive site because there's a wreck down there, bunch of other aggregations of fish, and everything is it's just you're surrounded by bull sharks, which is it's extremely humbling. <laughs> we were being surrounded and circled by bull sharks at the surface, which was a pretty interesting experience. But fortunately, no one was bitten. Uh, 
or in, you know, I'm not entirely sure what they were planning, but it was definitely an interesting experience being circled by bull sharks on the surface while you're pretty helpless uh, bobbing there trying to wait to get into the boat. <laughs> Overall, I really recommend Cabo Pomo. It's an excellent experience, excellent diving, and even despite the bad weather, we had a great time. We dove with Cabo Pomo divers and with the dive masters Caesar and Kike. I highly recommend the two of them and they, we had this excellent time getting to know them and an excellent time diving. Our adventure in Baja, Mexico concluded after nine days where we were able to scuba dive with bull sharks and swim with the sardine bait balls of Magdalena Bay. We came, we saw, and we left nothing behind except for our own memories. We faced the trials and tribulations together and all suffering was shared. And we counted on each other for optimism. And we continued to YOLO the experience to the fullest. Our friendship bonds grew only stronger between those who went with us and the folks who we met along the way. And we look forward to what adventures come next. If you're curious about our upcoming trips, check out our subreddit in the link down in the description below. and. Feel free to join us on a future adventure. It'd be great to have you. Be sure to smash that like button. And until next time, we'll see you then.